Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to cooking with Brenda and David. I almost forgot what I was doing. <laughs> it happens. I like to watch them YouTube shorts, and I just watched this little baby. He was fighting his sister on a candy wrapper. It was so cute. <laughs> I'm going to make some kielbasa and cabbage. I'm going to fry it in the skillet. I got some things going here. This is wet where I washed it a little bit. I thought I like, drained it long enough. So it's going to be some kind of cabbage and kielbasa, kielbasa okay. and cabbage. In the meantime, I'm going to use that cast iron right there, and I'm going to put some baking grease in there for I fixed this morning. Shouldn't need too much. I can add more if I do. Wow. What do you mean, wow? Well, I was just thinking about what that doctor told me the other day. I know, don't eat it, right? You shouldn't be. It really, you shouldn't be. That's messed up. It really is. I, I got to start cooking better for us. And me and David both, we've got to take cholesterol medicine now. I only take cholesterol medicine, but the last few times I've been to the doctor, my blood pressure's been up, so I don't know what's coming from. I'm meeting all that old goo. <laughs> all that old what? All that old goo. What goo? That stuff that's in that pan. You know me, I don't eat that much goo. I usually cook with olive oil and a vegetable. What's on me? Everything. I don't see no hair, do you? I can't see from my big belly. Honey, it ain't nothing on you, just dripping out. Yeah, it is. There it is. I found it. Is it little people? Probably. <laughs> Probably. It's little people in my mind. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm not going to turn that on yet. I thought I was going to. I had some bacon this morning, and I'm going to throw them in there, okay? The grease and the bacon, okay? That was only like one piece. Okay. That was what you didn't eat. Okay. clean my counter off and all that kind of stuff, okay? No, we just leave it all filthy. We I'm try gonna, to. I'm going to put some onions in there, too. I just put a little of them cut up kind of small, not many. Just a little bit, you know, a little bit of onion is good with cabbage, I think. Mm -hmm. So this should be pretty simple for folks if they've never done it before or something. Everybody's now, what it. could you use other they than just that? Got the wrong version. Everybody does. So, what 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 could someone use other than that baking grease if they didn't want to choose to use that? Olive or oil. Olive oil. I should have <clears> used the olive oil too. I say that baking grease though for a reason. Could it have something to do with? Since I raised the, I took out an extra life insurance policy. Could it have something to do with that? Oh, you did. I already told you I did. <laughs> I got a mess with you, David. So is that the reason why you're using the... No, dear. You lost your mind or what? Cut it in That's smaller it. pieces, okay? I'm going to get that get that on, okay? Get it turned on there to heat up some. Hey, cut me a little piece of that off to eat. Okay. When we, my grandpa was a cabbage farmer. And we ate cabbage all the time raw. I like it better raw than I do anything. Yeah, I like it with salt on it. <laughs> I used to work in a factory years ago down in North Carolina. A long time ago. And uh, so I ate raw cabbage on, on breaks. And them guys would say, can you eat that raw? I said, yeah, you can eat it raw. So they nicknamed me the Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> I got this on this pan here. It's a non-stick. I usually cook my stir fry and stuff like that in there. Well, you're not using that tonight. I'm going to use this oh. off of it. And you know what? See, it fits it pretty good there. Look. A little bit of steam will come out the sides, and that's okay. 
And How come I, you don't never give me nothing like this to take to work? To eat? I do. You bring it back constantly. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Or you say, get me grapefruits. I got you grapefruits. And you've been bringing the same one back for about two weeks. I wish you'd eat them. That's because someone told me it doesn't go good with your blood pressure medicine. Well, tell me not and, to buy no more then. Silly. You know it? You think I need all of it? You asking me? Yeah. I wouldn't have a clue. You know that. You're supposed to be the cook. I am the cook. The only thing you cook is to mess up the microwave with SpaghettiOs and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I got that piece of cabbage down in there. Well, we probably have to get us another light too, David. You know it? I know it. <clears throat> I don't use that one back there too much. So I just thought I'd give you a little meat in there besides, you know, a little bit of a bacon flavor with this. This is a very easy one. Very easy. I've been using Splenda to sweeten with. I don't know if it's any good for you either, but hey, it's probably better than regular sugar. I don't know. My daughter uses it. Gotta be better than that big old glob of wheelbarrow grease you put down in there. You want me to start over? I will. Yeah. I've got enough thing and stuff. I can pour that out and start over. Yeah. Any other time, your tongue will be hanging out and wagging the ground just to wait, couldn't get wet, couldn't wait to get it. Well, I went to the doctor <laughs> Thursday, and he told me. <laughs> hey, it's like what he said that day. You said I got to go to the cardiologist because I because I eat what country ham, <laughs> and it's true. Well, it is true. If we didn't eat this garbage, we'd probably be healthy. Well, it's all about the way you raised. I would you know? the RA, but I mean, yet. those folks that are raised of eating a bunch of slop like that, you know, old greasy stuff, and and you get used and, to and it, then it's hard that's to get away from it. about dead. Yeah. So that's just the way it works, you know. It's how you're raised. You know, if you're raised bad, you probably end up, you know, not all folks do, but, you know, if you're raised good, whatever. We were this... we lived in the country. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord, Mommy used lard to cook with. That's what Daddy liked. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that'll... Yeah, I like it, too. I ain't saying I don't. It's just... 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 It's probably not a very healthy choice. Give me that little okay. piece right there. Don't you throw want it away. that? Yeah. That's a little chunkier. But Here, eat that. I'll save it for I'm trying not to make no racket while I'm trying to chew on it. Oh, the crunching racket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just go ahead and cook most of it. How about that? Yeah. What the winter piece down there? Yeah. I'm going to put that back in the oven. Well, maybe the ants will eat it in the spring. I think it'll be there in the spring. <laughs> Not whatever I can get a loose from the get loose. Alright, I might save you a piece of this. I hope so. I like to leave that back one on there, but it looks got stuff on it, so I'm just gonna take it off. I washed it, but I mean honestly, I like it better raw than I do cooked any other way. Because we ate it all the time when we was kids. A lot of times that's all we had. Maybe some cabbage and some treats. Canned treats. Good day. Is all that going to... I guess it cooks down, don't it? It does cook down a lot. What are you expecting company? No. You'll eat it tomorrow or you'll eat it Monday. Well, if my little brother comes down tomorrow, he'll eat it all. He'll no eat problem. He'll eat it all. You don't have to worry about that. He likes stuff like this. That's one thing. He came down today and I fixed him a plate and handed it to him. He just eats what I give him. I mean, it's kind of uh, <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> what we seen this morning was kind of weird. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I fixed us all a plate. Gravy and biscuits, eggs. And I had just sit down. Bacon. I fixed him and David big plates. Yeah, I couldn't even eat all of mine. David was only eat about half of his. 
And we turn around and I give his brother this plate and I'm like, did he drop it in the floor? I'm like, what did you do with that food? And he said, I ate it. I was full around. I was hungry. And I said, but did you taste it? I he said it was real did. good. He said it was real good. That must have been a lie. How could it have been? He couldn't have tasted that. Well, he ate it too fast. Literally, that would have been a good film. <laughs> I mean, to put it on. Yeah, you because know, it was like literally like we wouldn't have time to do anything. He Forty like to sixty seconds. It couldn't have been no more than sixty seconds. Right? I mean, it was gone. <laughs> uh oh, I gotta stir this. It's gonna burn on me. I don't uh -huh. think this was a good choice of pots and plus that's too far away from me. Then why'd you do that? I don't know. I'm gonna need some more oil, guys. I'm gonna oh yeah, this show might not turn out. That might be one of those I have to just file it and save it away and oh, be you know. Because we've had some that were blooper shows. Yeah, we <laughs> Maybe have. someday we'll do a blooper show or something. We'll add all the stuff, sort of like I did, you know, back a few weeks back or something. Just some leftover pieces I kind of put together. We didn't have nothing to do, and I was sitting here by myself and. That's better because it's a little smaller. <clears throat> that's the bacon that you see, baby. Them brown pieces. That's oh, that bacon. That's the bacon. I hope. I thought it was just charcoal. See the bacon there? <laughs> it dropped off that piece well, of cabbage. Sometimes a little burnt taste tastes as good anyway on some things. I like that stuff you makes, you know, on the side of the bowl and it's got like cheese and stuff or whatever and it burns on the pan. Oh. Yeah, it's okay, and that burnt part kind of tastes good in a way. Yeah, but it's the potatoes. It's not in that. That's one thing about using these big skillets. you got to put a lot of oil, like right up here. There's not enough. That big old glob of grease you throw in there seemed like that'd be enough. Good gosh. That was just a tablespoon of grease I put in there. I was that big skillet. I could put two or three of those in there. You the cook. I just shut up about it. I'm going to tell you what I am going to do. There's that tea kettle never that gets used. You better not use it either. Except for once. I think you want some water in it once, I it's believe. It's mine. No, you put water in it once. And set it in there when I got you. But you've used it, I think, once, haven't you, in here? Or have you? Yeah. Now, don't get hooked on that thing sticking out there like that. Whoever bought you that tea kettle, <laughs> you sure do love it. <laughs> so if they're watching, Thanks. she wouldn't take a, anything for that. <laughs> if I even touch it, I'm in the world of poop. I don't even get near it. It was face and over. Let me tell everybody, she is okay. I thought I had some people praying for her. But she's okay. Well, maybe something happened to her when you don't know about or something. I so don't. Anyway. That's all I'm going to say is she's okay. Yeah. Okay. She gave me some nice things. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I don't know why you don't use it, though. I don't want to use that yet. Okay. Don't you think it's pretty decoration, David? Don't yeah. you like nothing pretty? <laughs> huh? Okay. He's a man. He likes all dark, greasy, gloomy stuff and black and grays and I like bright colors. Well, That's beautiful. One of these days I get you some bright colors in the here maybe or something. Pioneer like. woman is beautiful. Oh I'm gonna paint them gray walls. You better watch and see ya. I let you buy with it a long time ago it was pretty because it was fresh but now it's old. It's amazing how much things gets old so quick. I know it. Yeah. Let's cut this up. I'll put I that away in a minute. You can call that the main ingredient. You better eat that too. Oh, I'll eat it. Now, is there a special kind of this stuff you're supposed to get or just whatever beef you have? Beef is probably the best in my opinion. Alright, so you're going to use the beef one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I want a piece of that real quick. Too, and there you go. Watch my Blood finger roll. Man, I better watch it. I get up our close like that and I'll be missing a finger for sure. You lost a bit. Yeah, I just followed that. Bang.
That was real careless of me. Yeah. You scare me with stuff like that. <laughs> Why, David? I'm not bothering you. I know, but I'm reaching up all I got and you're chopping. I've been okay so far. Just don't you jinx me. I almost cut my finger off that time. I got close. Hope I got a fingernail left. I'm just now getting them. I ain't going to put a lot of that in there. Just one. Some people use more. I'm just going to use one. And I'm going to put it in there and stir it up. Put the lid on it. Put some seasonings on them. Now, did your mom make this for y'all a lot? Or your mom? Or? Mommy always usually made cabbage and potatoes. Daddy liked meat and stuff a lot. But I understand. we would put corned beef in it. Corned beef and cabbage and potatoes is delicious. Oh, I bet that would be good. Yeah. I've got that on a show, David. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah, I am. Sure I can't do. remember nothing. Look, that's salt and pepper and stuff. Let's stir it up first. Well, it is beginning to smell pretty Look at good. that bacon. Looks like it's burning, but that's the bacon in there. It'll be all right. It's not burning. You see, it needs more oil. Mm. Maybe some will come off that stuff. I'll see. Y'all keep a watch on it. Well, that's smelling pretty good. Come on, come up like that. If I was outside and the windows was open, I'd be like that commercial, that hungry, hungry jack guy running through the door. Busting the door down. I never forget that time. Save it. What? That ain't separating for some reason. I better know why. It's probably because it was the corn. <clears throat> a piece of the corn got left on that. I thought I'd cut that off. This is pepper. I'm not going to use too much of that. Did you, did you, but y'all mostly had like corned beef with y'all's and stuff. We, we had, we were boiled, we fried it. We had fried cabbage, but we took our, we would boil cabbage and put potatoes and when it was done, then we put some corned beef in it. It's good like that, real good. I loved it. Mama would chop it up real fine. And then we, she would cook it just basically fried. It didn't have nothing really to go in it. But there was a time or two, I think I remember some stuff was in it, you know, I mean, some you other stuff. Like but most vegetable. time it was, it was just, just that. You should like a vegetable for the taste of the vegetable. I mean, we do put salt and pepper, but you don't have to have anything else on it. Well, I've got a little trick for you here in a minute. Now let me salt this some. Um, And I don't know how much I put in it. Y'all just put however much you want. I don't do an overkill on it. I'm killing my husband and I hate it. I really do. <laughs> I've got to learn to cook a little more. i got to learn to cook. Um, yeah, but we don't have a clue about that. You know, well, seriously. I can learn. I can learn. But, yeah, we're going to have to. We still could do this once in a while maybe, but... And we'll have a whole bunch more shows because we got to learn to cook healthy. But, I've got to learn to like it. But it won't, it won't be authentic. Like this is stuff that you know about. This yeah, old country I cooking. I don't have a recipe. I just do it. You know, that's the only way. I might have to use that cabbage. Now those greens, um, that we, the, that watercress, that's probably healthy. You remember we cook, uh, picked those last year? They're and very healthy. So, we haven't even used we got to get them out and use them. That's good. Now, We've used some of them. You take them out and put them in a pot, David, with a little bit of water, not much. Look here, I'm going to put a little bit of crushed red pepper in there. All right. No, I'm not going to do an overkill on it, but just a flavor. You can, people do all kinds of stuff in this. They'll do jalapenos. They'll actually, um, they'll actually uh, use these jalapenos and remove the seeds and use them. It just gives a little bit of flavor, but it's not hot. It's not hot at all. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to throw it over there. It ain't gonna hurt it. It ain't glass. I just think you had bacon this morning, so I gotta watch this. Now this will cook down a whole lot more, David. I might not should have put that whole sausage in there. 
It's good, you know, to have David around in the kitchen. Now he knows about stuff. If something happens to me, I would only hope he could cook. He said, I don't know what I'll do. And I said, David, you've got all those videos on there that you can watch and cook something. Surely, he wouldn't have an idea of what this was or that was. He just don't. He's not a stupid person. He just don't know the ingredients mm. and stuff. I wouldn't have the heart to do anything. I'd just give up. Why? You live and gotta keep on living, David. It's the way it goes. I'm gonna sell everything out and move to Mexico if something happens <laughs> to you. I'm gonna go down to Mexico. Well, my brother said this is kind of depressing, but we buried mommy. He said, Well, he said, Well, it's, he said, It's our turn. Or he said, We're next. And I said, Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. We're in line to be next, right? I don't know. I hope I go before my kids and you. I just don't want to bury nobody else. Well, that's what I was saying. I hope I go before you. I can't do without you, though, David. I can't do without you either. Sure you can. I'm just going to go to Mexico and go crazy. If we use wood heat, that would be super hard on me. Super, I'm going to get you fixed up. Hard. I'm going to get you fixed up here one of these days here. I'm going to put you some gas that comes from the cows. They say now that gas from the cows are corrupting the atmosphere, so we'll get you some cow gas and hook it up to a furnace. <laughs> I wonder if we can put that in the car. I don't know. Might be able to. That'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd be going green, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be going green. That'd be better than electric. Yeah. Have a big bumper sticker on the back. My car is powered by gas from a cow. Old Betsy. Power from Betsy. Betsy BP. <laughs> <laughs> We're silly. Well, this day and time, you got to be about half mil anyway. I am so mad. Look at the stove. I just cleaned that off not long ago. Now look at it. A couple it's weeks ago. It's everywhere. How do you like your little knob I put on your drawer? I love it. I do. I love it. Look. These will get open. I'm going to paint that. And these go up to the dump. Well, I'm going to paint it down there. <laughs> I might have put too much of a kick on that. You know what you mean, too much kick of wood? No, I'll tell you what, it ain't got enough salt. Well, I seen you put pepper, and then you put some more of that other stuff you said. So maybe... It... The salt's what it needed. Oh. It's How long has it been since you made that? I don't remember the last time you made anything. Like, it's probably been a couple Maybe years. I made fried cabbage not long ago. I just didn't put the kielbasa in it. I don't... You I know remember. why I forget to use some of that stuff, David? It's because I don't eat it. I don't like it. I don't eat that junk. I don't eat it. I don't eat that summer sauce and stuff like this. Yeah, that's Quit a... Quit buying that stuff. Yeah. I don't need it. Yeah, a guy from work gave me that for a Christmas present. Oh. Well, give it to somebody that likes it. I like it. I know you do, but you don't need it. It's better fried, too. Anything like that needs to be cooked, I think. Okay, look, look we're going to... Gonna, I'd say it's got enough salt by now. You know, this it's thing's already... It's been 23 minutes since you started this. Can you believe that? Well, you need to turn it off for a few minutes. You don't have to stand and watch me cook the whole meal. Well, let's just go with it and... See what happened. Let's just turn it down a little bit more. And... It'll only take a week to upload. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy, you're pitiful. You're supposed to have got the new internet. Well, we'll get it one of these days. I'm... They said they got to fly in a helicopter or something, don't they? Huh? They got to fly in a helicopter, I guess, to run the lines or something. I don't Are know you how they're going to. Yeah. Well, huh. Well, we don't have much here, do we? we Might just have to stick with what we got. No, the last show we did, we, we just kind of let it roll because, you know, we talked about your mom and stuff and everything, you know. It's sort of like a getting it out of her system show, I guess you call it. And so that was the longest one we ever did. It was over an hour, I guess, or right around an hour. And it uploaded pretty quick. It only took about two days, wasn't it? Yeah. So it did pretty good. It only took about two days. How silly does that Well, sound? I mean, I thought it was going to last longer. I mean, take longer because the normal 30-minute shows that I do takes at least a day. Now look takes, here, though. There's more grease. I coated this real good, but look at all the grease. It comes out of here, too. I forgot about that. Uh-oh, you done messed it up. No, it don't taste I that I guess when you eat it, it just go right on through. It'll be nice and Ow. greasy. Ouch. 
<laughs> there you go. You can taste it. Now, why would you do that? Because it's hot. That's why. No, why would you pick it up hot? So you could taste it here. Taste it. See if it's too hot for you. You good? Mm -hmm. Don't snore your nose up, chubby. <laughs> Okay, don't stir right now. You're right. It's good and greasy. Very greasy. How you gonna fry something feeling greasy? Well, like Uncle Dave Macon would say, you gotta keep my skillet good and greasy. Well, it is. That's for sure. That thing's used all the time. I love it. Yeah, you got got this thing, and it's a china one. Doesn't matter. So you it does matter, but it's okay. I don't mind. So I love the pot. I you, love the skillet. You retired the old trust the USA ones. That's because you didn't cure them very good because you didn't know how and you wouldn't take my help. No, you got to make them real dark and black. But I don't understand why that one stays the same way. I don't know if they got some kind of Cause after I clean it out, stuff on that thing or when what. I take it, clean it out, I take a little bit of oil and a paper towel and I rub it around it all the time. I do it in them other ones that, ain't, that I still use. I still use those. All right. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's get it checked out here. Should be done by now. Let's move it uphill and let some of that grease go downhill. That good day, David. I hate for you to eat that. Mm. Looks good, don't it? Yeah, smells good. Yeah, it smells real good. So how long has it been since... Um I'd probably let it simmer in our 10, 15 minutes longer with the lid on it. Some of it could still go a little bit longer, but you don't have to cook things to death for it to be good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty done now. Look at like grease down there. I'm pulling it uphill here. Well, okay. Well, that's one good re good thing to have the stove on level, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, you still haven't leveled that stove up yet. Well, it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but... Well, we've got all the grease going to one end now. What? What you do with paper towels, you can blot it. You can't blot this. You can squeeze some of it off of that good day. I think I might drain it or something. No, I'm not going to drain it, but that is good to do that. Yeah, you could put it in one of them screen things if you had one. You might have put too much of that old stuff in it. What old stuff? Oil? Well, David, olive oil is not the worst thing to cook with. It didn't have that, but a tablespoon of lard, that's it. Just one tablespoon. tablespoon tablespoon to feed a horse with. David, I guarantee you that I can take that tablespoon and this tablespoon and it wouldn't be a whole lot of difference. Now hush it before you get popped. How about that? <laughs> huh? How about it? Well, let's try it out. I don't remember it. You don't remember it, right? How come you feed your... you like your brother. You eat and don't even know what it is and what it tastes like. That's why you never remember it. I don't hobble it down. Pack it in. Yeah. When, we was, when I was working, you had to eat quick at lunch. I'm sure everybody experiences the same thing. Have to eat quick. So you get used to wolfing it down and... Well, in the old days, it got 30 minutes, and, and then we didn't, there wasn't no quarter breaks or nothing, but it got 30 minutes, and then it's half the time, in, you know, it just worked right on through it because they were so busy, and then, then it whittled up to a, an hour breaks. Now they don't care if you take a whole day off. It ain't much going on anymore. Yep. We're hoping to start doing a whole lot more videos here soon. All right. All right, let's get you some of this out to taste. I know I'm missing smoking the bandits on. Oh, how many times have you seen that in your life? Not a enough. Million. Not enough. <laughs> a million. He sees it. Hey, they played it here not long ago, and we watched it twice, and you watched it even more than I did. I can't, I don't really, I'm not going to stand there all that time and sit there all that time and watch it again and again. And Burt Reynolds is my man. I know. <laughs> I like him on gun smoke. <laughs> Well, I don't know. This doesn't look too pretty, but it looks like food, right? All right. Look at that. Looks good, David. Yeah, it don't look bad. Can't have the bit of fork. I found me a fork with a B on it. Where'd you find it at? I don't know. Goodwill or somewhere. Out there in the yard somewhere? I don't know. I bleach it and use it. Old refrigerator is making some weird sounds here lately. That thing dies, we're going to be in a roll of poop around here. Yeah, we will. I'm going to have to go to the junkyard and find you one, I reckon, or something. I don't know. <laughs> Do they have those at junkyard, too? 
I didn't give it a whirl here. It's mighty dark right there, David. I should have handed you that bite, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm, you do. Huh? Mm -hmm. I know I usually do. Oh, he's giving a thumbs up, so. Yeah, it is good. No, it really is good. You say it every time you eat it. I know. Everything you cook is good. Don't y'all think it's kind of funny how he don't know anything that I cook? You just, well, I ain't never ate that before. Oh, really? Then I've starved you all these years, right? <laughs> Double thumb. That is good. good. Well, good. I'm glad yeah. you like it. Like it's I not say. as greasy as I thought it is. I mean. It is, too. Look at all this I pushed out there. Well, I guess if you. Have troubles I'm going to the John or something. I'm going to take it out here and put it in a bowl, and then we can heat it up in the microwave. <clears throat> oh, that's burning down my esophagus, sir. I eat too much of that hot. Woo! I didn't get too much red pepper ah. flakes, did I? No, it's just hot. Look, you can put you can put bell peppers, jalapeno peppers. People add all kinds of stuff to this cabbage. And it just makes it better. Use paprika, <laughs> you know, garlic. I usually put garlic, but I don't usually put it in this. I don't know why I just oh, don't. I got an idea on What? We was uh, t working with cabbage here. I got them old crock pots. And then, it's a crock, not a crock pot. Yeah, well, whatever it's called. It's just a crock. Well, we call them crock pots or something other in the old days, it's but I don't know. Crock, what what y'all call big, it? Crocks? It's a crock. That sounds like something there in the swamp. A crock? Yeah. It sounds like a crock of boy to me. <laughs> Well, we got... We I, always... It's a big, tall, white thing like this, and this big around. Yeah, it's sitting crop. over here by the stove. You got a bunch of junk on top of it. No, it's just a leaf. It's a metal-like aluminum leaf, and I got something laying in it. It's okay. Well, we Get got, over it. I got one big one and one little small one, and them things has probably been in my family for well over 100 What's years. What's small one? It's in here. It's right here behind the stove. Where's the big one? It's right there. You just oh, said. Oh, that little tiny one over there? Yeah. Okay, that's right. I well, let me that. tell what I want to do with it. Throw it in the trash. It's just dusty. No. You we... need to wash it and put it up and get that stuff behind the stove. Let me tell you what I want to do with it. Hush it. Hush it. Give me 30 seconds. Okay. I want to uh, take and... Uh, You're up. <laughs> didn't work did it mm -hmm. all right what i want to do with it is we're going to make some sauerkraut in the crock pot now i know you've helped do that before mm -hmm. which we you know we ain't got nobody to call for a little bit of a tune-up but i remember the old folks have mommy no more to call it's been many a time already I know. in I know. the last month that i've said let me call mommy <laughs> i know there's been many times i hear you talking about and i said and i'm thinking well you sure have to call your mother they get a little tune up on that one or something, but we'll figure it out. But anyway, we got the old crock pots, and I'm not going to do that that big one. But Dad used to make cha cha and stuff like that. But um, we'll um, uh, we'll get that little one out and see if we can make some sauerkraut. And um, cause you got to let it ferment and whatever, you know. So we can do a little bit here and then a little bit more. And hey, some kind of bugs flying around in here. What is it? Look like a bumblebee. There's something coming in off of the wood. Probably stink bugs. I hate them things. Oh, All right, really. so what do you think? Well, I guess we can try it. We'll just have to see. All right. Oh. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to do more of a prop on this so the grease will go downhill more. It's oh. it right there. Okay. All right, let's keep that in mind then on the crock pot, and then we can always put that in on, on a show, and then, then after it gets a little bit different add the results to another show or something maybe see that work jeremy yep. yes okay all right you got anything else you want to say nope that's it okay so this is kind of like a little quickie here maybe or something that was a quickie a side the main meal however you wish to do it you could put some potatoes in it just like doing quarter size you know and you put your lid down will steam them through they're good like that like I said, there's a lot of stuff you can add to this and, and build it up. Make it a one-dish meal. That's what he's doing. So if you just got just the basics, the basics work too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Whatever which way, if you got a whole pile of stuff, you can Cabbage is still kind of inexpensive, and it goes a long ways. Right. Uh, it ain't probably not for long, but <laughs> it's everything is so Well, there's high. a lot of things you can do with cabbage. You know, I remember a long time ago, there was all kinds of things you can do with cabbage, so... Cabbage is pretty much versatile. You can use it for everything. A lot of stuff. Yeah. All right. A lot of stuff. Well. If 
you in a pinch for something warm on a real cold night like it is tonight, something hot and in a pinch, this right here will work really quick. I love cabbage soup, and I don't know if I've got it on there or not, but I might put it on there, my cabbage soup, because I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I, I've cooked No, you haven't. I cook that in the Instant Pot. And we haven't had that in a long time, but how would you used to cook it before the, the fancy Instant Pot? Top the stove, big pot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, i got a wash well, it. Might be better. Sometime that Instant Pot, I know you use it a lot and everything. I'll show a picture of what it looks like. It looks like that. But I'm sure they already know from it sitting here. Yeah. Oh, well. But anyway, you've used it a lot and everything. But I can tell a taste difference for some you reason. Can. Yeah. Yeah, it don't have all the slop in it that you're used to. That's why. So you saying you don't like to use the Instant no, Pot? No, I mean, it's, it's okay. I can just tell a difference. When you first start using it, it tastes like rubber. So I don't know if them seals had to get broke in or something, but it kind of like, had like a rubber taste. Maybe. I don't but, know. I don't think it does. I think it's good. There she is. Old Sirene. She's so sweet. To be a wild kitty. Oh, I had to take my black cat, Babies. Her name is Babies. It rhymes with rabies. The rabies and babies. Well, she, she had a big lump that come up on her. On her leg. I called her ankle. They called it a... Uh... I don't know what they called it. But anyway, long story short, it got kind of big. It and got then, big, like, and... about like that, and stick out about like this. And I took her to the vet, and they took it off, and it was cancer. So I just hope it... I hope it don't come back, but it can. But and they stapled her back together and stitches. With the test know. they done, they said they got it all. And I, anyhow... Um, she had staples and stitches. I brought her in and took her out of the carrier, and she started throwing her body here and there, and I'm like, oh no, she's gonna hurt herself. Three times I stopped her, and then she went up under my bed, and when she come back, that collar was gone. Yeah, so, she ain't gonna have nothing around her neck. She Thanks. done good, it's I mean, healed up real good, and she got out. She had three staples and four stitches, and she got all of it out but two staples, and she couldn't get them out. They were in there pretty, and every time I take her to the vet or David holds her for me to give her mess or anything, she gets mad at me because I let it happen, I guess. I don't know what she's thinking, but she pouts at me for a little while and then she gets over it. Well, that thing's got bobcat, I mean not bobcat, it's got some kind of she panther a, or something in it. I told them the other I said, y'all please be careful. She's a mean tail, you know, reframe her or something because I don't want her to hurt you. And she goes outside some, so she's not declawed. Well, they cut her claws. And they yeah. didn't take them off, but they cut them, and well, I don't know why. Well, you I think maybe she turned them or something. Yeah, that's what I figured. That you didn't tell them to do it, so they probably done it because they probably got someone got the poop prep scratched out on them. Well, but whenever anyway. I took her back to get them two staples the other day, guess what? When they was putting her back in the carrier, she started growling and hissing. I mean, they they said she got a little bit. Uh, Aggressive or something like that, and I said, oh, yeah, I Well, I'm glad that was the only time that she didn't get your claws <laughs> hey, too short. A cat will chase deer. That thing I said, <laughs> will chase mean. deer. We're trying to protect Brenda down on the lower side, and she goes down that way, and them deer is there, and she goes after the deer. So she's always somewhere where she can see what I'm doing when I'm yeah. outside. She's always watching. I'm afraid one of them big old bucks will kick her in the head or something. But <laughs> anyway. Well, anyway, we're going to let y'all go, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody, and God bless you. Bye.